Still, Masachi waits. They don't want to make the change just before a corner is taken. West Brom with a lot of players towards the edge of the box. Not too many inside the six-yarder. Giverin cuts off the short corner. So Roof will go long. Out by Pogba. As far as Gale. On his left boot, off the line by Lingard. Great clearance. It's the third time the ball's been cleared off the line in this match. It's a great strike and uh, good defending by Lingard. Presence of mind on that post there. He's there for a, to do a job and he's done it. Kangamani to Lingard. He was busy at one end and now he's working hard at the other. Van Velsen onside. Cross oh. towards the back stick over here. Well, slightly overhit David, but you'd expect maybe somebody coming around that back, back stick there. If they did, there was a goal for them. Pogba with the tricks out. <coughs> Trying not to foul Akil Greer, who did even better to get out of that mm. tight spot. Well watched by McCulloch. Yeah, another good piece of play by the defender McCulloch. Manny O'Sullivan. Again tries to run at Blackett. Still Masachi waits. He's waited six weeks to play again, so another couple of minutes perhaps won't make that much difference. Mannion. Garino on the edge of the box, taken off him by McGinty. Pogba's presence was enough as well. A little, little bit more urgency about West Brom's passing now. You can sense that it's getting near the end of the game. Yeah, they have ten minutes to turn this around. Barino still goes, challenge from Akangamene. He was waiting for the foul, wasn't mm. he, the striker? And he got it. He knows there's a challenge going to come in, and if it doesn't, he can get a shot away. We saw that in the first half, the way he hit that ball. Well, Masachi is going to come on now, I think, as we see this challenge again. And it's Michael Keane who is going to come off. Well, Alberto masachi has been waiting on the sidelines for eight minutes. <laughs> and now he finally gets a chance to come on. After six weeks without kicking a ball in match action, he'll be delighted to get the final ten minutes here. Straight away, he has defending to do. Well, Jacob... His face two free kicks like this from the same player, so now he's, he's standing on the side he's expecting it to go to, I think, yeah. The two of them went to the keeper's right before, is he going to change it? Well, if he can get it to Liam Jacobs' left, it's a goal if he keeps it on target. Here goes Barino. Over. Neither. Sometimes he can be a little bit too close there. Yeah. The wall, in fairness, didn't look 10 yards away either. Sometimes free kicks get better in matches, don't they? I think his have slightly taken a dip, if anything. But know, yeah. This one could easily have been 3-2 if Jesse Lingard hadn't taken up station on the line. Good strike. He's going away, facing away for the goals, uh, the West Brom lad that shot. But good defending. Very good performance from Jesse Lingard today as well. Excellent. <laughs> Just starting to impose himself on games a little bit more as he grows physically and, mm. I would say, mentally as well. Better decisions with a final ball. And those kind of things come with age, don't they, and with experience. You forget how young and, in some ways, how raw these players mm. are when it comes yeah. to the final ball. And he's one of the more experienced players on the field today, and sometimes the responsibility giving them the captain's armband, you respond to that as well, and it certainly has to do. Wide by Manessio to Mulholland and now Gale. 
He had that shot headed off the line by Lingard. O'Sullivan. The overlap was Tunnicliffe, he didn't pick it. Back to Connolly. That should be the keepers, and is. Yeah, comfortable shout there, not a problem. Masacci. Young Italian from Siena. Good running from him, but the ball to and from Gifford out. weren't perhaps the best. I wonder what uh, Keith Downey thinks of the performance from his side today because they've, they've kept going despite that third goal going in for United. Former Cheltenham assistant manager, Wolves coach as well, vastly experienced. Jacob Payne for that, didn't get it. And a free kick given to United well, for handball. I thought he was born for a penalty there, David, when, uh, when they had the whistle go. Ethan Mannion involved. Did he bit, use an arm here? Just a bit of hesitation. Oh. It's more of his shoulder, really. It's he didn't complain too much. Linesman, I think. The one that's given it. To be fair, West Brom didn't complain too much either. Two penalties against him. You know. So last six minutes, sorry, Arthur. I was going to say, sometimes you can see balls in the air that are going to cause a problem. It's going to bounce. And once it bounces, David, everybody's got, you know, it's going to be a collision. Coaches often tell defenders, don't let it bounce, don't they? Here's Greer. McGinty again there first. Van Velsen, strong. Quick feet Ooh, as well, it's giving him too much though from Lingard. We'll allow, we'll allow him one bad pass. <laughs> He's grown into this game, improved as it's gone along. Mm. Giuliano Van Velzen. Got some great balls in. Doesn't hesitate, gets uh, half a yard, whips it in with his left foot. New country, new teammates, it's going to take time. But he's adapting very well and very quickly. Sliding challenge from Giverin, which was dangerous. Mannion got away from him. Culloch. Yeah, good challenge again. Just having a good spell after a quiet spell, West Brom having a little bit of a charge now, trying to get a, a goal to make this last few minutes interesting. United have so many defensive options at this level. Think about the back four that's on the pitch at the moment in Blackett, McGinty, and McCulloch and Masacci. There's Fonazia, there's Thorpe. A lot of goal scorers here as well. Yeah. Eh, this yeah. <laughs> Michael Keane's gone off. He had another good game. come on. Kangamani can play fullback. Well done. Van Velsen. Roof has come back with him here. Very nimble feet for somebody so tall. McGinty headed the ball, got a bit of Barino as well, I think. He said no foul, the referee, but he's a head injury, so he wants treatment on. Yeah, just caught the back of his head. Well, I thought it was the back, he's holding the front. I thought he just... I'll be honest with you, if I were headed by Sean McGinty, I think I'd be holding everywhere on the head. You can see where Sean McGinty's made contact. Mm. There. Oh, West Brom sportingly give it back to United. United have put it out. Referee making everybody fully aware that that was not a mm. foul. Last three minutes coming up here. Won't be too much added time, I wouldn't have thought. A few substitutions and that head injury, but... Chance for them to lump another ball in now. Cameron Gale is charged with this. Second ball, 
most players inside the penalty area. That's where the kick is aimed from Gale. Against who climbed highest. Kangamini left it for everyone else. Out as far as Greer. Lingard wins it. Now, chance to put this game to bed, perhaps. Oh, he's got the ball. Conley it was. Just wondered if Lingard was going to release Kofi and we were going to see a hat-trick and 4-1. United throw in, one by Masachi. And that by Manesio. O'Sullivan couldn't quite bring it under his control, so McGinty has it and looks for Van Velzen. Goalkeeper comes there. Yeah, good goalkeeper again, had to come out of his box this time. Up off his line again. Who's impressed you most today, Arthur? Lingard and Kofi, David, have uh, given the West Brom defence a, a torrid time. Two of them have done well. Lingard especially, you know, he's he's been all over the place really, hasn't he? He's might be playing up front, he's headed one off the line, tackling back. A good all-round captain's performance. Showed a good attitude. His best performance in the United shirt for you? I, I would say so, yeah. I would. From the very first few minutes, he's won the penalty. And he's always uh, looked a threat when he gets on the ball. Great crossing. A Fantastic a wonderful ball, ball in there. Mm. Connolly's got to clear that. He's got to deal with it. He doesn't know what's behind him. Just gives United a little bit of time now to get out now and see how there's remaining minutes of this game. He's a player who's promised a lot when we've seen him play. Unfortunately, had really bad luck with injuries. Mm. But you don't want to get when you're a young lad trying to establish yourself. Hopefully this will be the start of more appearances for him. Not wishing to count anyone else out, of course, but... These players want to get a place in that Youth Cup team against Portsmouth in December. Lingard's corner. Plenty up there, including Pogba if it drops for him. Not quite. Not quite. He's run it back now, though. Van Velsen. Kangamene. Masachi. Into the stoppage time here at the Trafford Training Centre. Lingard back to Giverin. Well, that kind of ended with a bit of a whimper in the end. Well, we kept the ball off them for a good minute and a half there almost, David, so... Lingard still busting a gut there to close the goalkeeper down. In injury yeah. time at the end of this game. Exactly. Fine example when you've got the armband on. Mm. Away by Blackett, up to Van Velsen. <laughs> Referee looks at his watch. <laughs> Flick from Lingard, very nearly set Kofi away. Conley. One last long ball, perhaps. <laughs> Quite happy that we play on a little bit longer. Adding on the time for the changes and for that head injury towards the end. That's it. United with three straight defeats coming into this game. But I've put the record straight with a 3-1 victory here against a tough West Brom side.